This episode of Scientific Tuesdays is brought to you by Busted Teas. On this week's episode of Scientific Tuesdays, we'll mess with air and we'll mess with water. And see where we end up. This week on Scientific Tuesdays, we're going to show you two very quick and easy science experiments. One has to do with water and its strange affinity for other materials. The other one has to do with air pressure. They're both very simple to reproduce, and you should have fun trying them at home. Creating a paper towel siphon is actually really easy. Just fold up or roll up a paper towel a few times, and then fill one glass up with water and keep the other empty. When you place the paper towel in both ends, you'll see the water absorbed instantly. But shouldn't gravity prevent it from going up? Nope, this is actually what we call capillary action. Every molecule of water has one negatively charged end and two that are positively charged. There are tons of small spaces and crevices at the molecular level of the fiber in the paper towel. So once a single water molecule enters these areas, the other molecules are pulled along by tiny electromagnetic forces created by the positive and negative charged ends. If you ever wondered how trees get their water all the way up their trunks, this should answer that question for you. The siphoning action itself is actually caused by gravity. So once the two glasses equalize in the amount of water they have, the flow will stop. Now keep in mind, this process that we're viewing is sped up quite a bit. Now, if you have a lot of time on your hands, probably a couple hours, then you can definitely sit there and watch this all occur live. But otherwise, I would say film it and speed it up later. You've probably seen this one before. When you place a light ball in an airstream, it will hover or float, whatever you want to say. Well, let's improve our hair dryer a bit, and then I will explain to you why it all works. Take a simple 2 liter bottle and cut the tip of it off. Now you might have to carve this down a little bit more based on how big your hair dryer is, but it's not that hard of a process. Once you've done that, you're basically just going to secure the nozzle of the 2 liter bottle into your hair dryer itself. Like I said, trim it down accordingly. And it should look like this. This is going to give us a condensed air stream, which is going to be much more powerful than what we had before. With our hair dryer modification in place, our airstream is going to become much faster. This stronger airstream is going to let us point the hair dryer at a nearly 45 degree angle, and the ball will still hover in midair. So, why does this work exactly? Well, let's look at Bernoulli's principle. It states that fast moving gases are at a lower pressure than slow moving gases. So, when the blow dryer's airstream hits the ball, it's creating a pocket of low pressure all around the ball. Now, the surrounding air is not moving fast at all, so that means it's going to have a high pressure. Now, what's going to happen because of that is that the high pressure traps the ball in this very small low pressure zone, allowing it to hover. Thanks everyone for tuning into this week's episode of Scientific Tuesdays. We'll be back next week from our new studio, 50 feet below the Earth's crust. Oh, by the way, I want to thank our sponsor this week, Busted Tees. Let's talk about Busted Tees. The dudes over at College Humor set this site up back in 2004, and they've been unrelentingly putting out the most awesome designs you're going to find on the internet ever since. Doesn't matter what you're into, Busted Tees literally has you covered. They're some of the coolest items of clothing since windbreakers were invented. Now you might have seen Busted Tees pop up in movies like Knocked Up, or shows like Scrubs, and now you can have your very own forever and ever. So head on over to BustedTees.com right now and then put in promo code SCI2s and you'll get 10% off your order. Go now before it's too late.